Welcome to the second lesson of Chapter 6, Understanding Account Balance. As we embark on this journey into the world of Forex trading, one of the foundational concepts we need to grasp is the idea of account balance. This is not just a number that appears on your screen, but a representation of your total capital available for trading. Think of it as your war chest, your arsenal in the world of Forex trading. This account balance serves as your starting point, your launch pad from which all your trading decisions will spring forth. It's more than just a measure of your financial resources. It's a reflection of your risk capital. In other words, your account balance is a critical component of your trading strategy, shaping your decisions and influencing your actions in the market. Now that we've identified what an account balance is, let's delve into how we can open and fund a trading account. Opening and funding a trading account is the first step in your trading journey. Let's talk about how you can set up a trading account. It's a process that might seem daunting, but it's quite straightforward. First, you'll need to choose a reputable broker. Once you've made your decision, you'll need to go through their registration process. This generally involves providing some personal information and often proof of identity and address. After your account has been approved, you're ready to move on to the next step, funding your account. Now let's pause for a moment here because we need to talk about something very important, and that's risk capital. Risk capital is the money you're willing to put at risk. The money you can afford to lose without it affecting your financial security or lifestyle. This is the money you should be using to fund your trading account. Why is this so important? Well, trading and forex trading in particular is risky. The markets can be volatile and losses are a part of the game. By only using risk capital, you're ensuring that even if things don't go as planned, you won't be putting your financial well-being at risk. To fund your account, you can typically choose from a variety of methods, including bank transfers, credit cards, or even digital wallets. The funding process can vary slightly from one broker to another, but it's generally quite simple. You select your preferred method, enter the amount you wish to deposit, and follow the prompts. Once the money is in your account, you're ready to start trading. But remember, the money in your account represents your trading capital. It's the money you use to open and close trades. It's also the money that's at risk when you trade. So, it's crucial to manage it wisely. In the world of trading, understanding your account balance and how to manage it effectively is key. It's your starting point, your base, and it's what you'll build on as you navigate the unpredictable seas of Forex trading. So, remember, only use risk capital when funding your trading account. Risk capital is a crucial aspect to consider when funding your trading account. This simple yet profound statement sets the stage for our discussion on risk capital consideration in Forex trading. Risk capital in layman terms refers to the amount of money that an individual is willing to put at stake in the Forex market without jeopardizing their financial security. It's the money you can afford to lose without causing undue hardship or altering your lifestyle. This is an essential point to contemplate because Forex trading, while presenting numerous opportunities, is fraught with risk and uncertainty. As we delve deeper into this topic, it's important to remember that the amount you allocate as risk capital is deeply personal. It's dependent on your financial circumstances, your risk tolerance, and your long-term financial goals. There's no one-size-fits-all approach here, and what works for one person might not necessarily work for another. While it may be tempting to pour all your savings into your trading account, hoping to make a quick fortune, it's a risky and unwise strategy. Remember, in Forex trading, there's always the potential for losses, and these losses can exceed your initial deposit. Hence, it's vital to only use money that you can afford to lose. Another important point to highlight is the need for a buffer. This is money set aside to cover unexpected expenses or financial emergencies. Having a buffer ensures that you're not forced to withdraw from your trading account in times of need, thereby disrupting your trading activities. In the same vein, it's also prudent to avoid using borrowed money for trading. The pressure to repay the loan can lead to stress and poor decision-making, which can further exacerbate losses. In essence, risk capital consideration is about striking a balance between your desire to profit from the Forex market and the need to maintain financial stability. It's about making informed decisions and being responsible with your money. To wrap it all up, it's essential to remember that Forex trading is not a get-rich-quick scheme, but a long-term endeavor requiring patience, discipline, and prudent risk management. Therefore, 
it is paramount to always consider your risk capital when trading. Your account balance is not static, it can change over time. Now let's dive into these changes and their dynamics. Firstly, depositing additional funds into your trading account will increase your account balance. It's like adding more fuel to your car's tank. These funds provide you with more capital to trade, thereby enhancing your potential to earn profits. But remember, they also increase the amount you can potentially lose. Next, we have the closing of positions. When you close a profitable position, your account balance increases. It's like winning a bet. Conversely, closing a losing position decreases your account balance. That's the risk you take when you play the game. In the world of Forex trading, there's also a unique factor that influences your account balance. Swap or rollover fees. These fees are applied when you hold a position overnight. It's like paying rent for the privilege of holding on to your positions. A positive swap means you receive money, which adds to your account balance. On the other hand, a negative swap means you pay money, which reduces your account balance. Let's imagine this scenario. You've just closed a profitable position, and your account balance has increased. You're feeling good. But then, you realize you have a position that's been open for a few days, and you've been charged swap fees. Suddenly, your account balance isn't as high as you thought. This example illustrates why it's crucial to keep track of your account balance regularly and understand the factors that can cause it to fluctuate. In conclusion, your account balance is a dynamic entity. It can rise with the deposit of additional funds and the closing of profitable positions. It can fall with the closing of losing positions and the payment of swap fees. Through it all, it represents your risk capital in the Forex market. Understanding these dynamics is key to managing your account balance effectively. So, keep an eye on it, and make sure you're always informed about its state. After all, knowledge is power, and in Forex trading, it could be the difference between profit and loss. Swap fees or rollovers play a significant role in your account balance. These fees are an integral part of Forex trading that you'll encounter when holding a position overnight. Let's delve into how they impact your account balance. Swap fees are essentially the interest earned or paid for holding a position overnight in foreign exchange trading. This fee is determined by the difference between the interest rates of the two currencies involved in the pair you're trading. If the currency you bought has a higher interest rate than the one you sold, you'll earn a swap. Conversely, if the currency you bought has a lower interest rate, you'll have to pay a swap. Now, how does this affect your account balance? Well, it's quite simple. If you earn a swap, it will be added to your account balance, increasing the total capital available for trading. But if you pay a swap, it will be deducted from your account balance, decreasing your total capital. This can be especially significant if you're a swing trader or a position trader, holding your positions for several days or even weeks. However, keep in mind that swap fees are not always negative. Sometimes, due to the interest rate differential, you can earn from a swap, which is called a positive swap. So it's crucial to consider swap fees in your trading strategy. If you're planning on holding a position overnight, it's wise to check the swap fees beforehand. This way you can factor in the potential cost or gain into your trading plan. That's why understanding swap fees and their role in balance dynamics is essential for successful Forex trading. They may seem like small, insignificant amounts on a day-to-day -day basis, but over time they can have a substantial impact on your account balance. Keep in mind swap fees can either increase or decrease your account balance. So, always consider them when crafting your trading strategy. This understanding will help you make informed decisions, manage your risk effectively, and ultimately enhance your trading performance. Visualizing balance changes can greatly enhance your understanding of your account balance. Let's delve into this idea. Imagine a graph with time as the horizontal axis and your account balance as the vertical axis. As you start your trading journey, the graph begins at a certain point, representing the initial funding of your account. This is your risk capital, the funds you're willing and able to lose in the pursuit of potential profits. As you engage in trading, your account balance does not stay static. It fluctuates, moving up and down based on the trades you make. A successful trade pushes the line upward, representing a profit. An unsuccessful trade, on the other hand, pulls the line downward, indicating a loss. The overall trend of these ups and downs provides a visual representation of your trading performance over time. But there's another factor to consider in this graphical representation, swap fees. In Forex trading, these are costs incurred when you hold a trading position overnight. 
Depending on the nature of the trade, you could either earn or pay a swap fee. Hence, these fees too affect your account balance and by extension the line on the graph. A paid swap fee nudges the line downward, while an earned swap fee pushes it upward. By visualizing these balance changes, you gain a clearer understanding of how your trading activities, including profits, losses, and swap fees, impact your account balance. This visual representation serves as a snapshot of your trading performance, allowing you to see at a glance how well you're doing. Remember, this graphical representation isn't merely about tracking profits and losses. It's about understanding the dynamics of your account balance, which is a critical aspect of risk management and strategic planning in Forex trading. It helps you see patterns, identify trends, and make informed decisions about future trades. A clear visual representation can provide a snapshot of your trading performance. It's a tool that, when used effectively, can greatly enhance your ability to navigate the complex world of Forex trading. Your account balance is not just a number, it's a tool for risk management and strategic planning. Let's delve into the role your account balance plays in risk management and strategy. In the world of Forex trading, your account balance is the backbone of your trading strategy. It's the foundation upon which your trading decisions are built. It's a barometer of your trading performance and a reflection of your trading discipline. Understanding the dynamics of your account balance is vital for effective risk management. It allows you to gauge the effectiveness of your trading strategies, helping you identify what's working and what needs improvement. It also helps you manage your exposure to risk. By monitoring your account balance, you can ensure you're not overextending yourself and putting too much of your capital at risk. Your account balance also plays a pivotal role in strategic planning. It provides a clear snapshot of your financial standing at any given moment. This snapshot allows you to plan your trades, adjust your strategies, and make informed decisions about when to enter or exit the market. In essence, your account balance serves as a compass, guiding your trading journey. It keeps you grounded, reminding you of your financial reality. It helps you stay focused, preventing you from making impulsive trades based on emotions or market hype. It keeps you accountable, encouraging you to trade responsibly and manage your risk effectively. But remember, effective risk management and strategic planning don't just involve monitoring your account balance. They also require understanding the factors that influence it, such as profits, losses, and swap fees. They require a commitment to continuous learning and improvement. They require discipline, patience, and resilience. So keep a close eye on your account balance. Understand its dynamics. Use it as a tool for risk management and strategic planning. Allow it to guide you on your Forex trading journey. Always remember, a well-managed account balance is key to a successful trading strategy. We've now covered the essential aspects of understanding your account balance. Let's take a moment to recap the key points we've discussed. Firstly, we defined an account balance as the total capital available for trading. We emphasized its role as the starting point in Forex trading and how it represents your risk capital. We also touched on the importance of funding your trading account with money you can afford to lose maintaining your financial security as a top priority. Next, we explored the dynamics of balance changes. We saw how depositing additional funds, closing positions, and the often overlooked swap or rollover fees can affect your account balance. Remember, every action in your trading account has a direct impact on your overall balance. We then delved into the concept of swap or rollover fees and their role in balance dynamics. Remember, these fees are applied when a position is held overnight and can significantly impact your account balance over time. We also discussed the value of visualizing your balance changes. Seeing how profits, losses, and swap fees affect your account balance graphically can provide a clear understanding of your trading performance and areas for improvement. Lastly, we underscored the importance of understanding balance dynamics for effective risk management and strategic planning in Forex trading. Your account balance is not just a number, it's a tool that can help you make informed decisions, manage your risks, and ultimately steer your trading strategy. Now that we've covered these essential aspects, it's time for you to apply this knowledge to your trading activities. Practice makes perfect, so don't shy away from trying out different strategies and approaches. Remember, every experience, whether successful or not, is a learning opportunity. That concludes our lesson on account balance. Your next step is to dive into the next lesson, Understanding Unrealized and Realized PL. Until then, happy trading.